Ludacris. Hey, big fan, uh, Ludacris. Chris. Well, hey, what what do people what do humans call you in real life? <laughs> uh, Chris. Okay. You can call me Chris. Just make it's it all sure. good. Do, everywhere you walk, do people just yell Luda? And you, at this point, it's just like white noise. They definitely do. And it's still not white noise because those are the people that made me, man. So I address them just the same way they address me. <laughs> you yell back. Random yeah, guy. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Gotta yell back. We're all- Bobby Bones. Luda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're all massive fans. We're, we're super excited you're hosting the iHeartRadio Music Awards, which, by the way, tonight live on Fox 8, 7 Central from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. It's yeah. like you've been able to do so much, obviously, radio killing hip-hop grammys uh movies and now you're hosting like where do you find the most joy now in your career like where are you most fulfilled doing all of those things man it's diversifying the portfolio man i find joy in in entertainment so you just named a whole bunch of things within the realm of the entertainment industry and i love it i love it all what do we not know that you do that you invest a lot of yourself in Man, uh, hopefully people do know this, but, you know, just a family man being a dad and having four kids, um, all daughters. So, you know, I'm I'm here and just making sure that I spend time with them. I well, love doing that. I, I think on that note, I just want to shout out uh, Karma's World on Netflix, which is inspired by your oldest daughter. I adopted two kids from Haiti about six years ago. So just having... Uh, you know, representation and things like that. I seek it out. It matters. And having something like that on Netflix is really cool. No, I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, it's four seasons. So if anybody's hearing it for the first time, go check out Karma's World. You'll love it. So when you host a show like the iHeart Radio Music Awards, like what do you have to do? Are you, how many, how many like clothing changes do you have to do? Or are you just going out? It is what it is. Like, I don't know. Like what does Ludacris do when he hosts a show? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's more for it's more trying to give us artists because I'm also performing, humbly speaking. So, you know, we're going to give them as much time. So I don't feel like I have to do but so many changes as a host. But there'll definitely be a change between hosting and actually getting on that stage as a performer. So I got to do that. Do you feel because then where we are, a lot of the artists, if they have massive songs from 5, 10, 20 years ago, that they have to compete themselves, their new music with their old music. Like people, like it's got to be as good as it used to be. Do you feel that about yourself as much where it's like, I'm putting out something new, like it's got to be like, it almost is competing with your old stuff. So if you're performing, people need to love it at least as much. Yeah, yes and no. It's like, you don't, you, you don't, you never want to do the same thing over and over again. You want to continue to, you know, um, you know, do, evolve with your music but at the same time you want to make sure that you satisfy the core audience and the core of who you are but i believe evolution is better than trying to do the same thing over and over again any day for you what was the first song where you actually felt it like a seismic shift people coming to shows uh not oh, just the grind fantasy? yeah which I one lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes and <laughs> i'm on that what's your fantasy smash man and that was the one i did independently and then Got picked up by Def Jam, so very happy about that. Did you have to radio change any of the words, and was that weird for you, if so? Uh, yeah, there was a, a definitely. But, you know, that this was at a time, and I think it still is like this, where you just do a radio edit, where they take uh, sound effects and just bleep some, oh, of the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of the curse words out. Yeah, that's funny. Also, to have so many songs that you could probably just hold the microphone out at your shows and everybody knows every word. <laughs> like, if I had, like, a cold or something, I'd be like, you guys do it! Like, yeah, right. that's got to be not having a cold. And it's like the craziest thing in the world because the performer, you're getting paid to do all the lyrics and you just hold the mic out to the crowd and they doing everything for you. You just stand there. That's 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 stealing, stealing. What about internationally when you go to these other countries and they don't really speak English yet? They know every word to these English songs. That's the most mind blowing thing. and lets you know how huge hip hop is, man. I think that's the greatest thing ever, ever. It's mind blowing. And it's just. It shows how music can bring people together. Uh, Morgan, a question for Ludacris? Yeah, I'm so curious. You've been part of that Fast and Furious franchise for several years now. Like, how did that all come about? And how did you decide that was the right project for you to do? Yeah, John Singleton, who was the director on part two, and may he rest in peace, he uh, asked me to try out for it. And I was on tour with Eminem at the time, believe it or not. And I was backstage and it was like, we need it by tomorrow. And I was like, man, I got to hurry up and read these lines. So I took maybe 20 minutes to try and understand the scene, read it on camera. And the next day they told me I got it. That's pretty much how it worked. And the rest is history. That's awesome. <laughs> and those movies have shifted a bit to now they're also funny. 
Like when you guys are in space, I know that's not a spoiler, but like, like, it, I mean, you've done so many of them. At what point were you like, all right, this, the fast franchise is again, you guys pivoted as well. How'd you feel about that shift? I feel great, man. I'm like to be a part of something like that, that is ingrained in, in real estate in people's heads for the rest of their lives. I mean, listen, I'm just humbled and, and grateful to just be a part of this family. That's so huge worldwide. So huge. And we, you know, we I think we have one more left because the last one was open ended. So we'll see what happens. Favorite car that you own? A uh, 93 Acura Legend. Is that the original? That's not the original, but it's my original. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, is that why you love it? Because it was like the one that you had? Yep. There you go. But before the record deal, before all the fame and money, that's the one I had. Ludacris hosting tonight, 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live on Fox at 8, 7 Central. Uh, yeah. JT, Green Day, TLC, Jelly Roll, Laney Wilson, Tate McRae, and a whole bunch more. Lunchbox, a question before we go, before we let Ludacris go. Yeah, I know you're really rich, and so I want to know, did you get more rich from hip-hop, from acting? Where do you make your most money? Uh, believe it or not, it's it's about equal at this point, man. Like, I, I still make a lot of money from music, humbly speaking. You know, I do a lot of shows. I do a lot of tours. I publishing um and, then, and on the other hand you know movies like fast and furious ah, it's the gift that keeps on getting <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i'd be with, i'd be there for that pivot too yeah like a with with the fast and the furious like if it goes way back like a residual check like you know sometimes people will get a residual check in the mail it's like five dollars like what are what are your <laughs> well, you can't ask him what his specific <laughs> what? checks are like, yeah, we can. Like, yeah, no, we no, can. From fast and furious like the first one he was ever in so you're asking if he still gets checks for number one yeah the first he one in. he was in yes yeah. like does he ever get like a random check in the mail for that oh, yeah. specific one i don't know she's right she's right there, there are random checks that come come along but i i would say the more you're in the more you negotiate to get more on the back end uh, that's basically how how it works out but the first one i was in i think it was just a ch upfront check i don't remember getting but so many uh back end checks okay you were asking specific dollar amounts i'm not gonna accept <laughs> that uh ludicrous I, I, I was good luck tonight thank hey, you bobby bones yes, okay sir. listen the bobby bones show listen this is something that's never happened in the history of ludicrous since it was so long ago i'm going to reveal the information of the first check if i'm not mistaken of too fast too furious I believe it was like half a million dollars. Let's go. Oh, my okay. God. Wow. Let's go. And that was just for the first one? Yeah. This has never been done. I never mean, guys, so for these, he's making multiple millions of dollars. Yeah, that's yeah but I don't that think shocking. that's breaking news. I think that's <laughs> Good what we grief. expect. Ludic Ludicrous is rich, 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 rich. Yeah, but I think we no, expected no, that. No, no, no. You never know, man. I, I Now I have four kids. No, so, no, but so I got a question. Do you, buy your kids any, do you buy your kids anything they want because you're rich, rich? Absolutely not. They got to earn what they want. Come on now. We got to teach them. You got to teach them to fish. That's good. Oh, my gosh. But then they get in the Lambo to go to school. It's like, whoa, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. And, and by the way, when I did that, I didn't have any kids. So that half a million was a lot of money. And I was rich. Now I got four kids and a whole family. So no matter if I make more now or not. <laughs> that's, that's right. Uh, Ludacris, appreciate the time. Have, have a great day. Good luck tonight. Thank you, man. All right. See you later.